Do you have a Lego set that just transports you back in time? Well, there's a Lego Marvel set that does that for me. And it's this guy right here. This is the Milano Spaceship Rescue from 2014, and this is one of the last sets I built before I went to college. And obviously it was a big one, so I couldn't take it with me to college, but I have such great memories around this movie and this set, so let's take a closer look at it. This set came out June 3rd, 2014, and retailed for just 75 bucks. Like, seriously, there's no way this set would hit shelves today for only 75 bucks. Anyways, it had five minifigs, four of which were exclusive and contained 665 pieces. You got a side build for the Sakarian to fly and of course the giant Milano ship. For minifigs, the Star-Lord here is iconic. He got his helmet and blasters as well as a hairpiece to put on when the helmet is removed. He's also got the blaster they use against Ronan at the end of the movie, which I think translated super well into Lego form. Gamora is great too, and she's in her Ravager uniform from the finale of the movie. She's got a reversible head, and I think this figure has aged great. Next up is Drax, who is arguably the best version of Drax LEGO has ever put out. He's got arm printing with his tattoos as well as printing on the front and back of the head and torso, and the legs are the same as Gamora and Star-Lord, but it's still a great figure with an awesome expression. The Sakarian is definitely the most boring figure here, and it's the same figure that came in all the Volume 1 sets. He did have a reversible head though, which was nice for army building. And finally, we have Ronan the Accuser, one of the best LEGO MCU figures ever, and definitely the highlight of this set. He had a uniquely molded headpiece, as well as all exclusive pieces for the head, torso, and legs. He had a reversible head and a giant staff which ties it all together and makes this figure an absolute standout. We get a small pod for the Sakaran to fly, which the box suggests putting Ronan on the front of, but honestly, it's pretty boring and definitely the most forgettable part of this set. The Milano, on the other hand, is an absolute beauty. I love the color scheme and scale, and the way it's built to show the contouring shapes and slopes is something that still amazes me almost a decade later. The bottom is actually pretty detailed too, but where it really comes to life is on the inside when you remove the roof. There's room for all the Guardians to sit inside, as well as a Star Wars-style computer for Quill to pilot. I love the clips on the wall that allow you to store the Guardian's weapons, as well as the Easter egg of the fire extinguisher that's hidden in so many LEGO superhero sets. Finally, we have a stereo system in the back, and if you are lucky enough to get the Toys R Us exclusive Rocket Raccoon in his red suit, there's room for him and Baby Groot in the back too. All right, guys. Well, it was so fun to wind back the clocks and take a look at this set. Let me know if you had this one back in the day, and if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Let me know what you think of the new video format, you know, kind of switching it up here. I'd love some feedback, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.